Hello everyone, my name is Addie and I am starting this YouTube channel to share my experience learning how to program through App Academy's part-time bootcamp. Quick disclaimer, these videos will not have much editing as I one, have no experience with video editing and two, do not have the time right now to learn. So it will just be raw footage of me talking about my experience, my advice, and just, you know, just my journey. Hopefully later on, um, I can make these a bit more aesthetic and, you know, a little more fun to watch, I guess. So in this video, I'll go over a little bit of background about myself and how I got into programming. I'll also talk about why I chose App Academy and I will go over the structure of the bootcamp and share some advice that I have for those of you who are thinking of starting a career in tech and more specifically in software engineering. So keep watching if that's something you're interested in. So just to give a little introduction, I studied cell and molecular biology and the summer before my senior year I took a two-week machine learning course but we didn't actually do any coding in this course we used machine learning software to categorize different cell vacuole morphologies and see if there was a specific cell morphology associated with a mutant and that's what really piqued my interest in computer science uh, so the following semester, I took an uh, intro to computer science course, and that was also really fun. And I just, you know, learned some basics on computer science. I believe we used Python as our main programming language, and it was very introductory. So I was really, really, really wanting to switch my major, or at least do a minor, but at the same time, I really needed to graduate and start working and, you know, making some money as I was working part time and going to school full time and doing research. It was very overwhelming. So I just couldn't see myself doing another two years of that. So I graduated. I got a job in biotech as a manufacturing specialist and again i was still really interested in coding so i was trying to figure out how to automate some of the data analysis at my job but then i quickly realized that i didn't have enough experience and knowledge to develop anything really that could automate those tasks so after work i started teaching myself how to code in python and again i learned very just introductory topics on Python, just like syntax, I learned lists, dictionaries, but again, I didn't know how to move forward with that. And to be quite honest, just the internet is so overly saturated with information on how to become a programmer. I didn't feel like I could develop a plan for myself to learn. Uh, and that is just me personally. So that's when I started to look into boot camps. After deciding to go with a boot camp, I did some research on which boot camps were the best. And there's a ton. There's obviously App Academy, there's Hack Reactor, and I believe like Flatiron, just to name a few. But through this research, App Academy consistently kept coming up as number one for software engineering boot camps. Keep in mind, I will say this is a full stack software engineering bootcamp. So there are also bootcamps that are specifically for front-end engineering or back-end engineering. There's bootcamps for UI and UX design. So I would do some research on what kind of development you want to do and then choose a bootcamp based on that. So I went with App Academy because they had amazing reviews by all of their alumni. And I think the other biggest reason is um, because most of their grads are able to land a job in software engineering within six months of graduation. And they also are funded, have some funding through Facebook. Uh, I know that Facebook gave them, I believe like $500,000 worth of funds for scholarships for students who come from underrepresented backgrounds, which I thought was awesome. Um, I will say this, this scholarship was for students who are doing the full-time program so unfortunately I couldn't apply but I still think it'd be a great opportunity for anyone else thinking of doing the full-time program so yeah I chose App Academy 
and now I want to talk about the structure of the boot camp. So this boot camp has two cohorts, I would say every two months. So they have the east side cohort and they have the part-time cohort, both fully online. And the only difference is the time. So I will I I live in San Francisco, so I'll be you know talking about time in Pacific time. But the class, the Eastern time is 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. in Pacific time. That's for the Eastern cohort. And the uh, West Coast cohort is from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m., which is the one I attend. So from Monday through Thursday, you have class from 7 to 10. And then on Saturday, both cohorts meet together and we have class from 9.30 to, I mean, from 9 o'clock to 3.30 p.m. And Fridays are just for studying and Sundays as well. So the way the cohort um, is structured is we have an hour to two. It really depends on how fast or or how long it takes you to complete the assignments and the readings and you know if you want to do additional studying and whatnot. So on average, I would say it's about an hour to two of homework and studying. And then you have your three hour long class and that's Monday through Thursday. And then on Fridays, you have all of your homework for Saturday and then you do your readings or you catch up with the last week's material and then you go Saturday to class. Um, and then likewise, you have homework over the weekend to prepare before Monday's class. Usually though, since there are assessments every single Monday, um, Saturday's homework will be like prepare for the assessment or catch up on any of the material that you did not understand and such. Um, and that's basically the structure in terms of kind of like scheduling for classes. Um, the assessments that you take every Monday, you do have to pass within 83%, I believe it's 83% in order to move on to the next week. So. If you get below 83%, you will get deferred to the cohort behind you, which is two months behind you, right? So they don't want you to move on to the next topic if you do not have a strong understanding of the previous week's topic because we're kind of just building up on our knowledge and you don't want to go into the next module or the next week, you know, feeling confused and lost. Um, so I understand that. And you only get to defer twice. If after the second deferral, you happen to fail again, you do get kind of kicked out of the program. Um, and I believe there's a certain amount of time you have to wait before you can reapply. Also, depending on how long you've been in the program i think that also affects how much you have to end up paying because if you do fail out of the program you still have to pay tuition to a certain degree um now i don't want to go too much into those details either but that's basically how the program works and what you need to do in order to move forward so here's my advice if you decide to go with a boot camp i would say first things first Try to teach yourself how to code. Try to learn an object-oriented programming. It doesn't have to be super in-depth, like you don't have to learn about data structures and algorithms or any of that stuff. I didn't do that. Kind of just taught myself some basic Python programming just to see, do I like this? Can I see myself doing this long-term? And um, is this something I find difficult, is something I find enjoyable and whatnot, right? Also, I think another one of the reasons why you should try and teach yourself how to code is because even though you do have instructors and you do get to study with your peers, a lot of it is self-teaching. Um, like before class, you know, you have to complete the readings and kind of have like a base understanding of what you're doing because when you go into class, usually lecture is no more than, I would say max 20 minutes and that's kind of pushing it. Um, we usually just get like a quick overview of the topic and then we just go right into like peer programming. Um, so a lot of it is a lot of self-teaching, a lot of self-teaching, a lot of studying. And 
I think that if you can self-teach yourself how to, you know, learn the basic fundamentals of a programming language, then I think that will show that you can set yourself up for success in a coding bootcamp. So my second piece of advice is to, you know, tell your friends and family that for the next year, um, I forgot to say that this program is a year long. <laughs> for the next year, you will be extremely busy. You have to set boundaries with your family, with your friends, with your job. If you are thinking of working and doing a part-time bootcamp, I think that is very important. Um, and, you know, set your priorities straight because this is not an easy program. They call it a bootcamp for a reason. And, you know, the first thing they tell you is do not take that lightly. So um, definitely set boundaries. And, you know, just tell them that you're focusing on yourself for a year and your career and on changing your life. And after this year, you know, your life will just be drastically different and you'll have a lot more time and flexibility to spend, you know, to spend it with your friends and family. Okay, third piece of advice I have is if you are in any toxic relationships, friendships, situationships, whatever it is, cut it off. Like I said, this is a very stressful program. You're already going to be stressed about your tests. I mean, seriously, every week it feels like I'm barely surviving because the tests are stressful. I, I can't even fathom deferring. Luckily, you know, I haven't yet. Um, but it's very stressful. You have to get a good grade every single week. You cannot be stressing over you know someone else you can't be stressing over like little things um especially i feel like you know unless you're married or you're already in a long-term healthy relationship you know you'll, you'll figure it out but if you're in a toxic situation friendships whatever people that don't understand and will not be supportive cut that off um i'm very blessed to have you know very supportive family and friends um that have you know given me my space but are still there if, you know i need to talk or de-stress and stuff and so i think it's very important to have that communication and to just cut those things off especially if you're already working and you're doing this on the side it's it's a lot it's a lot to handle so um again make sure you set yourself up for success with boundaries and try and be the least stressed you can throughout the process. Now my fourth piece of advice, um, I would say definitely have work on your time management, just really blocking time off to just study and code. If you don't do this consistently, it is something that you could forget. And you know, I would say in a real setting, it's okay if you forget things here and there, obviously you're not gonna memorize every single thing um but when it does come to like the job application process and all of that you do need to have a very strong understanding of computer science fundamentals and so the more you solve algorithms the more you practice the better you'll the better you'll be at it and the better off you'll be when it comes to applying for jobs so yeah that is all for this video i hope that I could help a bit in your decision making and if you have any additional questions please leave them down in the comments. I do plan on making more videos so let me know what you want to see. I'm thinking um, talking a little bit more about the admissions process maybe like what I would have done differently or things that I wish I would have done earlier on in the program that I'm now currently doing. Um, yeah let me know. I want to post kind of consistently but again I have an extremely busy life so maybe once a week or every other week. I hope you enjoyed and let me know your thoughts. Thank you.